one. Laura, no. I've got work to do. Come on, baby, come on. Let me in. How did you do that? I locked the door. You don't have a key. I missed you so much. Oh, no more. I can't. But I need you. Wait, 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 wait. The door. Delta X over Delta T. Oh. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Kate Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them. I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Quatrain 6, Century 8, where ivory towers meet the eastern sea, young trees of knowledge will fall, crushed by the thorny vine of a red rose. If Crazy Eddie's right, Nostradamus' idea of an ivory tower is here in Boston, Mass. A young Einstein at the National Institute of Applied Mathematics dropped dead with bubbles in his blood. Like he's a can of soda, someone shook too fast. Word on campus has it he was working on a government project. Now the program needs a new boy wonder. Looks like I'm finally gonna make it to college. Mom will be proud. You could have called. Elliot, I waited for two hours for you to pick me up. Uh, I forgot. There is nothing you forget. You computed satellite injection parameters in your head. And planetary reference parameters? Yes! 
You remember astronomical conversions and forget about me. Good morning, people. New guy's on his way. Cade Leach. Ray, will you throw the confetti? I'll roll the red carpet. Hank, you can beat the big bass drum. Elliot, remember our talk. We test in two days. We still don't have those birds in position. Go easy. You need this guy to finish Ted's work. Nobody can replace Ted. Ted was brilliant. But this guy's not chopped liver. PhD in quantum physics at 16. Moscow teaching fellowship at 20. Check out Leach's resume. I'll put it on the top of my reading list. If we're lucky, you can calculate the value of the Doppler observables you're stuck on. Look, I am not stuck. I just need more time. Uh, here's our new wonder kid. Come in, Kate. I'm Dr. Allenson. This is Henrietta, our teaching assistant. I, I prefer Hank. No training quadratics. That's too bad, Bucko. That's the foundation of what we do here. And this would be Elliot Drake. You two will be working together on our satellite communications project. If you can keep up. No, no, Elliot. Dr. Kenneth yeah. sent us a glowing email last night, called Mr. Leach here the best problem solver in Stanford history. <sighs> yeah, well, I'll tell you what, if he's so great... Let's see him solve that. Part of what Ted left unfinished. Ah. Well, um. Huh. Uh, big R, small P to the square of two. Um. Wavy little equal sign. Uh, one dash E squared cos squared. <laughs> where, where did you get this freak? Uh, large R, small p, with a <laughs> equal sign polar radius equals six three five six nine one two. Oh, I, man, this is rich. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Leach, something tells me you may not be ready for our level of work. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's where you're stuck. Uh, the n-body Langrangian L of the Brand's Dick theory uh, cannot be expressed as a particular body I. Uh, Doppler, um, not a wave equal sign. Dash two, D, uh, Robert, TP, D, T. My God, that's it. Cade, you're a godsend. Hank, set him up next door. Elliot, get Cade's help with those Doppler values. A test to prepare for. <laughs> he can do the damn thing himself. Just excuse me, Elliot. Don't talk to him, Elliot. He'll come around. It is so good to have him here. Foster, you there? Relax, I'm adjusting the earpiece. Just make sure you can hear my voice or you lose your pocket PhD. You left me hanging in there. What the hell happened? You know, I'm a little rusty on my quadratics. Hank, the teaching assist? She's our weak link. Gut feeling says she'll talk about Ted. Yeah, well, maybe something else you talk about. This ain't no communications project. You computed geosynchronous orbital trajectories in there. It means they want these satellites highly maneuverable. I smell government footprints all over this baby. Hey, slow down. No, no, no. I think I'm onto something with this government thing. Shh. Excuse me? Not, not you. Uh, um, sometimes I have these voices in my head. They speak to me. I, I call it my genius. Finally. A little respect. Uh, problems with Elliot? I, I couldn't help but notice. No, there never used to be. That's not true. No, he's always been insufferable. So why are you with him, then? I guess I'm a sucker for men I can't figure out. You mean men who are arrogant and self-absorbed? No. Elliot is one of the smartest men in America. And look at me. I am looking. You can do better than Elliot Drake. Thanks for the pep talk. Hey, Hank, wait, a favor. Uh, Dr. Allenson wants me to get Ted's books and logs, and I've been lost twice already today. Okay.
feel bad for the poor guy. They figured out. Coroner said Ted's blood filled with nitrogen. Happens when the body is exposed to prolonged pressure. And gas embolism formed out of the stroke. Decompression sickness. When decrease in pressure occurs too fast. Well, that's a, that's a scuba diving condition, isn't it? I don't even think Ted took baths. Um, can we hurry up? This place freaks me out. Tracking station parameters. Trajectory equivalents. Military applications. Told you. Call me Cinnamon, because I'm on a roll. They told me we were working on a communication satellite system. These books sound military. I couldn't say for sure. They've been secretive about the project. I got a bad feeling about this, Hank. How's Elliot taking Ted's death? He upset? I'm more like distracted, like he's always got something on his mind. I know that girl. Last week at the Wild Coyote, she hit on Elliot right in front of me. Hey, your first clue, Foster. Go have a beer on me. Where have you got on top, please? Hey, Lynch. Been looking for you. And how do you know my my name? Newest star of the physics program. I make it my business to know. And what business would that be, Miss? Call me Lara. A student in philosophy. Ah, seeker of answers. Now you should know better. Answers only give rise to more questions. The heart of philosophy. And let me guess. Your philosophy is to work your way through the physics program until you find the right answer. Well, what can I say? I like smart men. So they say you solved Ted Ekman's equation. It's a matter of minimizing some of weighted squares being observed in computed quantities. It's just a matter of figuring the damn thing out. Why do you care? That's what I'm afraid of. This woman has a has a power. Yeah, beautiful women always do. Not like this one. When when Laura came after me in the bar, it was like she uh, she reached into my brain. You sure it wasn't your pants? I'm sorry. It's just she hit on Elliot. Listen, Hank. This woman's dangerous. She targeted Ted and he died. Then she came after Elliot. Now me. What does she want Elliot for? Certainly not his charm. 
You want to wait till he dies to find out? Pressure on the satellites. Hank, are you sure you're not holding back on the satellite project? No. I only know what they tell me. I did overhear Dr. Allenson call it a G7 project. Bingo. Classified military tags. There's still no answer. So why didn't you go home with Laura? I might have. She gets in your head, she's hard to resist. So why didn't you go? <sighs> Laura found out I'm a fraud. Foster. Foster, what are you doing? I don't understand. I'm no PhD. I wouldn't know the value of buy from the don't price. Wait, don't do it. You saw Ted's equation. I saw it. There are maybe three other minds in the world could work those numbers. You're right. Listen to me, Foster. And one of them is on the other end of this. Foster, you're wanted for murder. Keep your mouth shut. Are you working for the police? No, myself. I think the same forces behind Ted's death killed my wife. I can't explain, but I need your help. I, I, need, I need you to trust me. Well, I'm a sucker for men I can't figure out. I guess that includes you. Thank you. Now, listen, maybe, maybe Elliot's home and he's just not picking up. Can you take me over to his place? Yeah, okay. I want to talk about what happened last time. What happened? Well, you rocked my world. Look, don't play me for stupid, okay? You know what I mean. No, I don't know. I certainly don't believe you're stupid. numbers, Elliot? Ted Williams. On base percentage and record batting average. Oh, it hurts. 
Kate, open the door! Oh, oh God! Elliot! Where is he? The lover boy was making time with Laura, then he's got the bends. Um, Only way to save him is to find a decompression chamber. It's the bends. Yes, the bends. We need a decompression chamber. I uh, there's uh, there's a marine biology lab on campus. Can, can help me? Uh, okay. Okay, atmosphere is normal. You can talk to him. He saved your life, Elliot. You were with Laura, were you? How did you know about Laura? Look, she she had control over me, I swear. It's like I, it's like I was watching myself doing and saying things that I didn't want. What kinds of things did you say? No, what kinds of things did you do? I didn't mean to have sex with her, please. I finally figured you out, Elliot. You're a son of a bitch. Hank. You really know how to treat a lady. Let's cut to the chase, Bright Eyes. We're not working on a communication satellite, are we? Leave me. Alone. I gotta think it's a government project. If so, you gave Laura classified information. Come clean and maybe I can get you out of this. What's our project? What are we testing tomorrow, Elliot? Help me out or I'm gone. Okay. See you, Elliot. Wait. The satellite project was commissioned by the National Security Council. And they are communication satellites, like you were told, but they have other functions. Functions? What kind of functions? Each bird is equipped with nuclear warheads and launch capability. What did you tell Laura, Elliot? I gave her the launch codes. Green satellites armed with nukes? That's where my tax dollars are going? You don't pay taxes, Eddie. Okay. Here's my theory. Government builds weapon systems cloaked as communication satellites. Aliens get wind of it, send a cute little package to pluck the launch codes. She's one of them. No, I'm not. I'll say this once. Leave. Not until I find out who you are. I know who you are. Kate Foster, wanted for murder. And when I read your mind in that bar, I knew you were innocent. You're a good man. And that's rare today. But if you stay, I will be forced to kill you. If you can read my mind, you know I'll never quit. That's what I thought you'd say. And that's why I called the cops. Help! It's them! It's getting closer! Hold on! Hold it! Eddie, pull up the NIA website! The campus map! I'm headed east across the main square! All right, uh, north of the cafeteria, you're going to see a complex. The gymnasium. There's an alley behind. The gymnasium's on the left. There's a back alley behind the gym. It leads to the faculty parking lot. This way. Hey, Foster, someone's trying to tap into my system. Encryption codes are going to only last 10 seconds. i got to shut down or they're going to have a trace on me. You're on your own, little buddy.
guys, relax! Hello, Kate Foster. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Time to hang up the telephone. Murderer, escaped lunatic. Never said I was perfect. Your flight's been impressive, till now. You committed a tactical error, son. You crossed over onto my turf. And who are you? I'm Colonel Grace, National Security Council. What do you know about this woman? Safe sex is out of the question. Lara Korchenko, Ukrainian. In 1979, a 1,200-pound ox cart collapsed on her father's leg. Lara lifted the cart with her mind. We went to her parents, cut a deal. You bought her from her parents. She was extraordinarily adept at what I like to call Matahari operations. Pulling secrets from unwilling sources. You turned her into a killer. I turned her into a professional. But apparently she harbored quite a bit of resentment at having been forcibly removed from her family. Can't say I blame her. At the height of her training, Lara killed three of my men. Then began selling her services to the highest bidder. So who's the highest bidder this time? Aliens? Sir Rapshik, from the Department of Criminal Investigation. Notice your murder conviction's been expunged. You're an innocent man. I am an innocent man. This is your chance for freedom. There won't be another. Capture Lara Korchenko. I want her back alive. If the NSC can't find her, what makes you think I can? Your presence was foretold. Isn't that what you believe, Kate? We're done here. Kate? Hope that's you. You're way behind schedule for the test. Hi, Professor. You can't be here. Almost done. Those are security codes. Hands off, please. Dr. Allison, everything. I'm gonna have to screw you, Elliot. Why are you so eager to help me? Laura, your dream day, where she live? Ah, oh, Laura got you too, huh? That bitch. She picked me up at the Wild Coyote. Couldn't tell you where she lives, though. She always came to me, dude. I liked it that way. You were scared when I walked through that door. Who were you expecting? 
Lara wasn't squeezing my brain for freshness. She wanted to kill me. I could feel it. Think she'll be back to finish the job? Well, she got the information she needed. Why would she want to kill me? Because you can rebuild the satellites. You're a threat to them. To who? Never mind. I'm going to get you out of this, Elliot. What time they shut this place down last night? Ten、uh, o'clock. You're safe till then. She won't risk a visit here during business hours. I'll be back before closing. Okay, these are all KG machines with crypto clearance. They exceed CIA and NSA data encryption standards. They use your friendly language. That's. We need a password. Got one? No, Elliot does.、It、changes all the time depending on what comic book hero he's into. We got one more shot. Any further attempt, and it sends a Title 18 alert to the feds. Elliot was living a wet fantasy with Lara. Who's the comic book Casanova? Nice. Okay. Now what? These satellites are meant for more than communication. Allenson said they were going to test the system tomorrow. What kind of test? Well, it seems to be an executable simulation program, but it's locked. I need the manual. Oh, oh Doctor Hanson! Oh, what do we do? Nothing right now. We have to report this. We will, Hank. We will, but not now. No cop can undo the damage that Laura's already done to the system. You can. Defense system. It's a planetary defense system. Against what? Asteroids? No. Against an invasion by extraterrestrials. Wait, there's more. Oh my God. Lara programmed the system to self-destruct. The nuclear ran from a blast like that would kill hundreds of thousands of people. Including us. Okay. Lara got in through the mail server. With email carrying a shell script that exploited a security hole in the send mail program. If she could access the computer through the phone, why would she come into the lab? To freeze us out. She manually downloaded a gigabyte of security and antivirus software. Unless we get past it, the countdown continues. We only have a few hours. Well, this could take a few days. These programs use a password. Sure, but Lara would have chosen an alphanumeric one. There's no way we'll guess it. She'd have to tell us. And that's what she'll have to do. It's almost ten. Let's go.
Thanks for that seal door. Laura, thousands of people will die. Give me the password! Laura. Gonna do to you what you did to them. Gonna put you under pressure. That's the last one. I can't believe it's over. I'm free.
Um, I should phone the police now. Dr. Allenson. Kate. Yeah. We have a lot to celebrate. I'm looking forward to that. I just, I just got a quick phone call to make first. And I know that. Yes, you have. And I want to say I'm sorry. If I can make it up. If you'll let me. I believe that you mean that, Elliot. I really do. I just don't think so. Okay. Thank you. What was that about? My self-respect. Hello? Hello, is Kate Leach there? Yeah, he's here. It's for you. Hello? Fawcett, this is Eddie. I had a Tracy on Henrietta's phone. I secured the line. What's up, Eddie? I checked your Chicago warrants. They weren't expunged. If a man gives you freedom, it is not freedom. Freedom is something you take for yourself. Ask Laura Kuchenko. Or ask me. I learned that lesson today. As I left Boston the way I came. On the run. Hey, 